Hello everyone and welcome to the Enemies Ilya and today we're going to be going over a few pieces of trivia and facts surrounding the character of Floris from the A Certain Magical Index franchise. Now in case you're new to these facts and trivia videos I will not be including information that appear in the New Testament side of the Index story as I personally have not read any New Testament volumes and I don't want to spoil anything for anyone who's just an anime only watcher. These facts and trivia Information will come from the anime and light novel and manga, respectively. So then Floris is a member of New Light, age 15 and the owner of the magical artifact, the Dragon Wings, which she still held in her possession despite being held under the Knight's custody. And normal procedures for people that are held under the Knight's custody are basically they get stripped of any and all the tools that could be used for an escape. Yet, when she was held under their custody, she still remained to have the dragon wings in her possession, which she has used in the past to infiltrate enemy bases and escape with ease. Now, with Floris' design, it's kept very simple, yet I do think it's pretty effective in of itself, and it follows the rest of the new light theme, in looking like they cross players instead of looking like magicians when they traditionally take on the magician's sort of attire, like obviously they are. All of New Light's members are magicians, yet they look like they're from a Lay Cross team. I think that's pretty cool, not gonna lie. Now then, I mentioned earlier on that she's in fact 15 years old. However, we see her with skills that allow her to drive a car, without L plates or without supervision of an adult which is very impressive in of itself because I found driving pretty hard, although I can do it. But it's also illegal, especially here in the UK, which is also the country where she comes from. You can apply for a provisional driving license when you're 15 and nine months old, but you can only start driving or learning to drive when you turn 17. So yeah, can you just imagine if a scenario came up as to where she was on her way to a mission, a very important mission with her team, but then the policeman pulled her over and basically took her into custody because she was driving under age and that mission could not be fulfilled because the team could not meet at the designated point in time. That'd be pretty funny and a bit of a comical way that I wouldn't mind seeing in the series if I'm honest. Now this next piece of information does in fact come from the New Testament side of the story. I know I said I wouldn't be putting anything from there in, but this isn't a major spoiler. It's just a little bit of fun bit of trivia that appears later on in that story, and I thought it was fun, so I thought I'd add it in. Floris has a long-standing hatred for Toma, and was said to have cried when losing a game of rock, paper, scissors, against other members of the New Light. This was a competition to see who would get the last remaining plane ticket to Japan in order to see Toma. I don't know why, I just thought this was a bit of fun, so I added it in and yeah. I don't know why she would be crying if she had a hatred towards him. Maybe she had a plan in place and she wanted to exact it and it would be perfect at that exact moment in time. And she was crying because she couldn't do the plan because she lost. We have to wait and see. Hopefully, it doesn't come too late in the story. And finally, let's end off with some amazing lines that are said within the franchise by this particular character. So to Lesser and Beloop from Index Volume 17, she states, Hey, you two lesbians who look like you're from an erotic novel or something, have you finished the preparations with Skin... Skinormia? Skinora? Is on the screen here. I butchered that horribly, but it's a magical spell that they can all use. Another one would be when she's talking to Toma, and she states, an Asian person who gets a disturbing thin smile on his face, when he first meets you, it's always Japanese. Now, out of context, this could sound a bit harsh and a bit offensive, but when delivered in the series, I do believe this was meant for comedic effect, as well as the fact is, she does have that long-standing hatred towards him, so maybe that just stems from that particular first encounter. 
So there you have it, that was just a quick piece of facts and trivia based around the character of Floris within the Index franchise. Obviously there is a lot more to talk about when it comes to this character, so if there's any non-spoiler ones that I've missed, feel free to let me know in the comments down below. But nevertheless, I do want to more importantly hear what you have to say about this particular character. What's your favourite thing about her? What do you like most? That sort of thing. Let me know, I'll be very interested to find out. But with all that being said, I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe for more Index and anime related content from myself in the future. On that though, I hope you have an amazing day. Alligator, Matane, goodbye!